Hello everyone, welcome again in another video. I guess it's time to buy your new GPU. There is a wild report coming out of China that Nvidia is stopping the sales of VRAM to, it, to its partners. Now, before you panic, does this mean you have to build your own GPU? No, but it does mean the era of stable GPU pricing might be over. We're entering a new gold rush, but the gold isn't metal, it's VRAM. Because of the AI boom, memory is becoming the most valuable resource on the planet, and gamers are increasingly getting the scraps. Here's the correction you need to know. The old way was simple. Nvidia bought massive amounts of memory from Micron or Samsung, bundled it with their GPU core, and sold a complete kit to companies like MSI. It was stable and st safe. But the new way is different. Rumors suggest that Nvidia will now sell only the GPU core to partners. Why? Because Nvidia is pivoting its entire manufacturing capability toward AI. Look at this Blackwell chip. The memory is built right inside, and that requires high bandwidth memory. Contrast that with this RTX 1490. See these black rectangles? That's the GDDR memory. It's separate. Since Nvidia doesn't need to bundle this Ford card to work, they are reportedly washing their hands of it. They are telling partners, you guys figured it out. This creates a tired survival game. Big players like Asus and MSI are safe. They buy memory for millions of laptops and servers. They have the buying power to call Samsung and get what they need. But smaller brands like Inno 3D, Palette, or Zotac, they might struggle if a memory shortage hits. Suppliers will prioritize the big orders. If these smaller guys can't get the ships, they can't make the carts. And here is the short term, if MSI has to buy memory on the open market and prices spike, which they are doing right now, that cost gets passed to you, we're looking at potential price volatility, where the cost of a GPU could change week to week. So what's the bottom line? Stability is gone with their 50 series, my CE based prices fluctuate wildly based on the cost of RAM in 2026. My advice, if you see a card at manufacturer's suggested retail price, just take it. Waiting for a price drop might backfire if the memory shortage kicks in. Because next year isn't just about faster GPUs, it's about who can actually find the parts to build them. Thanks for watching the video, don't forget to leave like, comment and subscribe, peace.